Chapter 23, Computational Chemistry, Section 23.4, Semi-Empirical Methods. Semi-empirical methods are similar to the Hartree-Fock method, but semi-empirical methods are often much faster. There are three reasons. Reason one: In semi-empirical calculations, only the minimal basis sets are typically used. In the Hartree-Fock calculations, larger basis sets are often used for better accuracy. Reason two: In semi-empirical calculations, most two-electron repulsion integrals are simply neglected or estimated without doing the actual calculations. Reason three: The semi-empirical method uses some predetermined parameters to make approximation of many integrals in the energy calculation. Some of these parameters come from experimental measurements. Others are optimized with a training set of training compounds. Therefore, the performance of the semi-empirical methods are often very accurate for those training compounds or for some other chemicals with similar structures to those training compounds. Unfortunately, semi-empirical methods may perform really poorly for molecules that do not resemble any of those training compounds. Semi-empirical methods are faster than the Hartree-Fock method, often much faster, and sometimes semi-empirical methods are even more accurate than the Hartree-Fock method, especially for chemicals with similar structures as those training compounds. However, the downside of using the semi-empirical methods is this: it's hard to improve. The accuracy of semi-empirical calculations systematically.、Uh, we can perhaps include more empirical parameters for enhanced、uh, flexibility, or maybe we can include more types of training compounds in the training set during the process of parameterization.